Hi, this is Melissa with A Creative Journey with Melissa, and today I'm going to show you how to make this awesome background for this card. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it as well as I want you to, so I'm going to show you this. This is what it is. And we use the Sign Language Sentiments 2 stamp set for this awesome um, uh, sentiment. I, again, don't have a brain, so, you know, we're trying to rent one locally. Anyway, um, so we're going to be doing this. There's a lot of different ways you can do it. There's a lot of different um, items you can use to create it. I'm going to give you a few ideas, but I'm going to tell you what I use so you can recreate it. Anyway, um, this uh, card is a sympathy card, but um, the stamp set that we're using here has a number of different uses. Um, you can create uh, thank you notes using grateful, um, congratulations, so blessed, so sorry, um, hello, hi friend, um, the I love you sign. You can make uh, really cool uh, little medallions with the I love you sign. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can do and it's pretty cool. So at any rate, um, this is the awesome stamp set and it is sign language sentiments two. Um, we also have uh, sign language sentiments um, one. We have alphabet, sign language alphabet, and we also have sign language numbers. I did that backwards, sorry. <laughs> this is sign language sentiments one, in case you're interested. And we also have the sign language alphabet, and we also have sign language numbers. So if you're interested in any of those or our um, amazing other stamp sets that we have, check out www.acreativejourneywithmelissa.com or www.acjwm.com for those of you that don't like to type a really long name. Um, make sure that you are subscribed to our YouTube channel and to our blog email so that you can be entered to win every week for a prize. The prize that's going to be this week is going to be this one. So hopefully you enjoy the stamp set and you want to really create with it. It's really got a lot of possibilities. It's awesome to use as a background for paper. You can create a whole bunch of different things. Like I said, you can do medallions, you can do um, really cool bookmarks, all kinds of neat stuff. So check it out and make sure you're a subscriber so that you might be able to win. We give something away every week, don't forget. At any rate, so now I'm going to show you how to create this awesome background. Like I said, um, it's hard to believe that it's not actually marble. It looks like it, doesn't it? Isn't that neat? I'm gonna give you a little bit of close up right there. Pretty cool. I like it. Okay, so if you've ever watched the videos before that I've done, you will know that I like to reuse things or repurpose things. Well, I don't know about you, but I have a whole bunch of uh, photo paper that I can't use anymore because I don't have an HP printer print anymore. Well, that's a problem because I know that from past experience, if you use Epson paper with a HP or vice versa, there's different inks, etc., etc. So ironically, even though this isn't glossy paper per se, it's glossy paper to me, and this is photo paper. That is what I'm using, honestly, photo paper. So I don't like to um, waste, and this is a great example of how to utilize your old photo paper that you may not have a printer for anymore. This is what I'm doing. So just so you know, it is true, and I'm going to show you the samples I have. I can even try to pull up this to show you. Let's see if I can pull this up a little bit. Oh, it's not going to show you. I'm trying to find the part where it will. Uh, da, da, da. Let's see. Is this it? It's not going to show you. Well, darn. I don't want to ruin the card either, of course. But um, let me see if I can pull this up gently and see if it'll show you that it really is. It's not going to show me. Oh, there we go. You can see right here that that is part of the... Uh, photo paper and I will show you right here that that is oops this part right here so I'm totally honest totally being serious that's what I used so with that I'm going to show you some of the examples of what I made while using while creating this and I will show you the difference between the plain paper and the glossy paper I really liked the way the glossy came out I did not like the way plain paper came out this is cardstock I thought it was uh, kind of muddled truthfully and kind of blah um, and I'll show you that I used this one after I did this one and as you can see look at the difference in just the sheen and what it looks like I really think that glossy is the way to go for this um, you're of course welcome to use either one but I think glossy really gives the better look and um, is what you probably are looking for for a background or for a creation um, it doesn't look horrible, but I definitely prefer the glossy look, okay? So these all are from the same 
technique, I used this and I also created this one with the um, same technique, same items, same time. So you can create multiple amounts of this background at the same time. I would suggest, however, that you do do multiple amounts of this at the same time. This project is a little messy. It's cool, but messy, and that's okay because we like messy. I don't know if you know this, but my nickname when I was younger was Messy Missy. There was a reason, because I like to be creative, and here we are, great example. So what you're going to be doing is, some of you may know this already, some of you may not. This is a shaving cream background. And what I did was I used the photo paper, like I said, or you can use glossy paper, whichever you prefer. I, you need some popsicle sticks, and you can also use some of the um, uh, cute little toothpicks if, whoops, if you want. Those are helpful. I have the Adirondack alcohol ink hazelnut, oregano, and mushroom. Those are very helpful. And you are going to use a lot, and I mean a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of paper towels. So make sure you have paper towels. You do not want to forget to have paper towels because if you don't, that will be a problem. Why you say? Well, because you will have a mess on your hands and you will have it over everything. This is speaking from experience. I'm just telling you it is the best idea. And if you don't want to do that, that's okay, but you're going to have a mess on your hands. I will also tell you, however, that you can use alcohol, regular alcohol, um, like this to clean up. So if you want to have some alcohol on hand so that you can clean up, that's a good idea too. You want to make sure you do that and maybe some extra paper towels or things like that because alcohol will clean up this ink. Um, I bought this little platter here at the big uh, W store, if you know what I mean. And um, I bought it for a couple bucks. I'm going to continue to use it over and over and alcohol cleans this cutie right up because I used it on the back of, for this background. So this is all cleaned up. You'll see it in a second and you'll see how great the alcohol cleans up this ink. So, um, so you know that's exactly what I did. At any rate, so this is what you're going to need. You're going to need some paper towels, some um, uh, shaving cream. I chose this and honestly I chose this because my sons use this. And why buy some shaving cream if it can't be used after I'm done? Because I'm not going to be using a whole thing of this. You need, a, not a lot, but you need enough, but not enough to utilize this whole can by any means. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this cute little uh, paper towel, keep it close to our, our, uh, close to our hands because you want to make sure that you have it available. Like I said, you're going to need some. And um, I would suggest a whole roll, just my opinion. At any rate, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this paper out. I'm going to take this out here and I'm going to take this out and we have the platter. Uh, this has a few little fuzzies on it. I'm just going to blow it off. There we go. So you could use pretty much anything that you want as far as something that will work for you. Um, I do suggest, however, that you pick something that is going to be um, uh, washable because if you don't, what ends up happening is you will end up uh, staining the item that you use for this. You could use a big glass um, 9 by 13 pan if you want. Some people don't like to use the same thing that they cook with and I understand that. Um, you could actually do this with food color. Um, it has a little bit of different look but I personally like this look and I really like the way it came out which is why I'm showing you. So what we're going to start off, we're just going to take this little lid off right here and we're just going to pop it off and we're going to put some of that shaving cream in here, okay? I know it's a lot of fun. You can have, do this with your friends if you want, or your kids, if that's what you want to do. You don't need a whole bunch, but you need enough to cover the area. So I'm going to utilize that popsicle stick that I told you about and just kind of spread it around almost like it's a knife, okay? So we're going to spread this around. And um, you will also need drying time. So if you plan on doing this creation, do not do it and put it right directly onto a creation or it will be wet and that will be sad. Um, I created it and I let those that I just showed you dry for a couple of hours. My guess is it was probably dry within a half hour, but um, I did let them dry for a couple hours and they were touchable and no issues. So um, I can tell you that that worked for a couple hours. Basically, I went to a movie. Saw a movie with my awesome hubby 
And uh, yeah, he's pretty cool. We love him. He's a keeper for sure. I am a very, very blessed, blessed woman. Um, at any rate, so we have this right here. And it's almost like um, frosting a cake, right? Kind of neat, huh? So I'm just doing this. I actually like the different types of textures. And the reason why is because you'll see it in the paper that you use, okay? So we have this right here. So that is basically how I spread it apart or spread it all around. So it almost looks like icing on a cake. That's what you're doing. I'm gonna put this right there. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to take this um, we have the hazelnut, which is like a light brown, and we're just going to put some dribbles on here, like so. And then here, I'm going to do another different pattern, um, just so I can show you there's different things you can do to create this look. Now we're going to use the oregano, okay? Now before, I don't know if I showed you this, I used the hazelnut. That's what I used for this. Now we're going to use the oregano, okay? So we're going to do some drips over here, like this, a little splattering here. And here we're going to do concentrated dots, a little bit more, do do do, okay. So that's that. And then last but not least, we have the mushroom. So we're going to use the mushroom, okay. And then we're going to do some splatter over here and this kind of stuff. And you'll see why it matters in a minute. And then I'm just going to do some dots right like that, okay. So, you can smear this different ways. You can use, like I said, the popsicle stick or you can use the toothpick. Oopsie, for this right here, sorry about the wiggle. Um, for this right here, what I'm gonna do is right here, I'm going to just use a popsicle stick. So you'll see how it's just smeared like this and we're just kind of doing something like this and like in lines, like so. So it kind of gives you that swirled look that you had before that you saw. Now you want to make sure that you cover the area that has the um, uh, uh, shaving cream so that you don't get any blank spots. If you like the blank spots, that's fine too. You're welcome to do that. Again, this is your design, whatever you like. If you like just the um, smushy look, this is what we're going to give you here. Okay. The more you mix, the more solid the color will be, as you can see. So I'm just going to do a little bit of this, just give a little bit of change there. Okay, okay, so now for that one, I'm just going to put that right there. Now for this, I'm going to take my toothpick and I'm just going to swirl it like this, just so it's barely visible. You can barely see the difference in colors. Now you're going to get a lot more color in this one and a lot less of the um, muddled look. And if you don't like the way this looks or you don't like the way this looks, you can always add some more color. This almost looks like a uh, spider um, web. It's kind of neat how this comes out. So I'm just going to show you this. And I'm just doing little jagged spots over here just to give a different look. Again, you decide what look you like better and then you run with it. That's all. Pretty simple. Now, I am going to take a little bit more of my green here and I'm just going to dribble it around a little bit like so and then I'm gonna put a few more little dribbles here and spread those around just so we have a little bit more color so it's more obvious okay so we're gonna take this little popsicle stick I'm gonna wipe it off a little bit here and we're just going to do like this so we get a little bit more color there okay it's almost like cooking, right? Cooking with uh, shaving cream, kind of fun. And then here, we're just going to spread a little bit more this way, a little bit this way, and again, play with it. This is really a fun thing for kids to do, and it definitely keeps them busy, and it's neat because they can see all the different things, and you can continually use this uh, shaving cream over and over and over again until you basically run out of shaving cream or the colors that you like. So it's pretty neat how this will work. And I'm pretty excited to show you. So as you can see, I'm doing a different design on the right side than I did on the left. And I'm doing that on purpose so you can see the different things. And maybe you'll like one better than the other that I'm demonstrating to you. And you'll do one and not the other. And I'm saving you from making a mess yourself. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this 
again, photo paper, and we're just going to squish it right on here. And you want to cover it all up like so. Okay. And I'm just gently tapping it. And on this side, I'm just going to gently tap it again, make sure that it's totally covered. Now there may be some clear spots or white spots or empty spots because that may be where there's just shaving cream and not anything else. That's possible. Now, again, you can use this over and over and over again. You don't need to leave it in like I just did. You could just peel it right up. Here, I'll peel this one up so you can see, like that. And then we'll peel this one up like that, okay? So these are the different um, looks that we have right here. It's gonna look a lot different once we clean it off. So I'm gonna put this right on our little pile right here, and I'm gonna do a few more, just so we can utilize the, the shaving cream that we have right now. So I'm just gonna put this right on here, squish it in. Again, it's a messy project, but it's really a neat project. And I would suggest that you utilize a whole bunch of them and create a whole bunch of them at the same time. That way, you will only have to clean up the mess once. And you can just keep creating. And if you want to, I'm going to show you in just a second, you can just add, like I said before, add some colors and just keep going with the shaving cream that you have. Okay, I'm going to put this on the side. And I'm going to do that so that you can see the difference in the ones that I have done first and the second set so you can see the difference in color. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this cool little color right here that I dropped on the floor, which you know tends to be a problem sometimes. Um, I'm going to take this cute little uh, oregano and all my mess of uh, <laughs> shaving cream and I'm just gonna do a few little drops like this and then you'll be able to see what it looks like when you just do it straight like that okay so I got one more piece of paper left right here and that's what I'm gonna do now you'll see that there's some spots right here that doesn't have any of this uh, shaving cream I'm gonna squish it in there so it does get covered okay so we're just gonna squish it down Squish it down, squish it down. Again, you don't have to leave it in like that. I just figured I'll take them out at the same time. That way I only get dirty once versus twice every time I do it, okay? So we're just gonna lift this cutie up like so. And then we're gonna lift this cutie up like so. Whoops. And this is where the funny mess comes in. Look at that, pretty cool, huh? So I'm gonna take these and I'm going to put them on another piece of paper towel so you can see what they look like once they are done. Now, um, what I do afterwards is I'm going to take some paper towels and I'm going to basically clean them off with the paper towels. I'm going to set this back here and right there. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now I don't need this anymore. I'm just going to put this to the side. Hopefully nobody will step in it. That would be bad. <laughs> okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paper towels and I'm just going to take this right here, which is just two regular pieces of paper towel, and I'm going to place, this one was the like spider veiny one right here, okay, and this one was the other one. So I'm going to do the spider veiny one first that I, I'm going to wipe this all off. And what I do is basically take this and I'm going to hold on to it this way so I don't get it all over myself. And I'm just going to squish it out. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just taking off all of the uh, uh, shaving cream and just kind of squishing it to the side. So I'm just wiping it sideways. Okay and squishing it out as I push down, okay? Like so. All right, I'm gonna wipe my fingers off there. Like I said, you're gonna need a lot of paper towels. Now, this is the first one. See how that looks? Pretty neat, huh? I like the way that came out. See how it kind of looks like it did um, when it was in the tray, but a little bit more flowy? 
if that's a word. I think it's a word. I've got a little bit more on here, so I'm just going to wipe it off. You don't have to have it exactly, you know, clean or anything like that, but you want to try to get as much off as you can. So that's what I'm going to do here. That looks good. And then I'm going to dry off the back part because it inevitably will get some on the back. Okay. Like I said, it can be a messy project, but I love the results. And if you do a bunch of them at a time, it works out perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this aside and squeak my chair a little bit. Now we have this one. This little cutie is the mushier one, okay? And it's going to be really interesting to show you what the colors look like in there. And it's fun because it's uh, basically design decisions, and sometimes it's not even up to you. Sometimes it just happens, and it just turns out however it's going to turn out. This one is going to be beautiful. I know. Why do I know? Because I have faith. And it's pretty darn cool, the colors that you can make out of this. If you have like a business, like I've made this with um, the blue, the yellow, and the red that are my business colors, you can do that. You can make different colors with your favorite colors. You can, um, whatever, maybe you're having a party that's a certain color theme, you can do backgrounds for that. And you can do it on big pieces of paper, like 12 by 12 if you wanted to. Now these right here are just four by six uh, papers that I used. Look at that. Isn't that neat? I love the way that came out. It's really, really neat. Now I'm going to take this side. Actually, I'm going to take this right here and I'm going to dry it off a little bit more because it still is a little bit wet from there being still some more um, shaving cream on it. So I'll wipe that off and I will be showing you a close up of all of them once I'm done. Okay. And I want to get the back too. Now, again, it will stain the back. It will stain the front. That's the whole point of the ink I used. Look at that. Isn't that neat? I love the way that looks. It's so pretty. So we're going to let that dry off a little bit. And we're going to do the other ones. Like I said, you go through a lot of paper towels for sure. Okay, I'm going to take this and put this in the garbage. And we're going to start over here. Now this is the second one I did right here. I was trying to remember. This right here is the second one I did, I believe. Wait. Nope, this is the last one I did. I'm sorry, my mistake. We're going to take these little cuties right here. going to open this up and just place it like this. And as you can see, there's not a whole bunch of ink on here. Not a whole bunch. Actually, I believe this is the second set. Let me do this again. I'm sorry. My mistake. Let me do this one. Okay. Do, do, do. When I see the video, I'll be able to remember, so I'll actually correct it if it is incorrect. So we're going to take this, and we're going to squish it. Squish it out like so. Now, the other way I did it, I did it so that the... Um, the um, hold on a second here. Make sure it's coming off here. Okay, sorry. The shaving cream was on the downside, so I was squishing it out from the down. This is on the top. It doesn't really matter which way you do it, honestly. Um, it might be better just so that you don't make a hole in your uh, toilet paper if you want. The other thing, too, that I've done before is if you really like the color that comes out on your toilet paper, or I'm sorry, the paper towel, you can use that as a background, too. Pretty neat, huh? What do you think? Pretty cool. Like I said, you're going to have, obviously, the same color palette, and for the most part, a general... Uh, same type of pattern that you're using because you're using the same ink and all that type of stuff. But I really think it's kind of cool. I like the way that came out. Pretty neat. I'm going to let that dry over there. We're going to fold this one up. And we'll do this one right here. Okay. Get a, whoopsie. Place it face down. Wipe that up a little bit. And squeeze it out. This is it, this is all I'm doing. And then I'll keep them in my stash and I'll have something to create or to use for one of the sentiments or anything that I wanna do or even the sign language alphabet, for example. You can create your own sentiment or if you wanna write somebody's name or happy sixth birthday, etc., etc. There's a lot of really great ways to use those sign language stamps and um, I hope that you will pick a pair up, pick a set up and enjoy them like we do. And we did creating them. Pretty neat, huh? Love it, love it, love it, love it. I might be a little biased, but I do love it. So let's wipe this off. 
and we'll wipe this off. And here we go. A little bit of that. And you can tell how the, there's less color and more white part, and that's just because there's less color from the um, stuff that we're using. I love the way that came out. That's really neat. Super duper cool. Okay, last but not least, this is this is the last. These those two were the last ones. So I did actually end up doing them in order. Because I remember I added some color and I wanted to make sure that there was more color in the last ones that I did just to show you um, that you can add color while you're doing it or if you don't like it you can do it again or change it up or whatever you want to do. So that is a good example of that. So I'm going to squish out the sides again. Don't squish them out too far or else you're going to end up with shaving cream all over your table which would be a pain in the butt. That is for sure. So as you can see I wanted to show you a couple times how I did this and how that the actual technique is the same. You can, and I've seen this done before, you can use, you can pick up the um, the sheets that you have and you can scrape off the, um, uh, the shaving cream. I don't choose to do that because I really don't want to ruin any of the colors or the creation that we have going on there and this seems to work out a lot better. It just kind of um, stops it right where in its track, so I like that. Okay, let's see how this guy looks right here. Oh, that looks neat. That's really kind of neat. Okay, so I'm going to take this and throw it out because it's pretty full of uh, shaving cream. We're going to make sure we dry this part off. Okay, and then I'm just going to wipe it. Oops, we're going to wipe this off a little bit. And you'll see how this shine, once you wipe it off, you see how the shine really comes back and it looks great. I'm going to show you the difference. You can see over here, I haven't really wiped it off very much. Let's see if you can get a glimpse of that. See how it's kind of dull or matte looking? And then here, it's starting to be shiny. You can see that. I'm going to do another example so you can see the difference. I really love the way this one came out. It's kind of neat. And this is really the perfect example of why you want to do it that way. Okay, I'm going to show you here. So I've wiped all these off with my fingerprints. <laughs> if you look here, I'm going to see if you can see that. Right here it's a little bit dull. I haven't wiped that part off yet. But if you look over here, it's all shiny. That's pretty neat, huh? That's the difference. So you want to make sure you wipe them off, especially with the glossy paper, so it doesn't have any residue left from the um, shaving cream and that you really get those beautiful colors that are in there. Now this to me looks like granite. I really think it came out cool. Even cooler than I thought it was going to, so that's always a good plus, right? So look at this. If you look up at the clo really close, look at how there's some reds coming out. I really love the way that came out. That's pretty neat, huh? So, so that is the example of how you can create awesome backgrounds and you can utilize your old photo paper. Um, you can do this in 8.5 by 11. You can do this in um, uh, 12 by 12 or whatever kind of photo paper or other photo papers that you have. It is completely and utterly up to you. I love the way that it came out. And as you can see, this is all with the same colors and it really has a different kind of look to each of it. I really think that there's different ways and different colors, like even this one right here, really pulled up a little bit of blue and that's from the green. So it's kind of neat how that came out. I love it. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial today and I hope that you really make sure that you are a subscriber to our channels, our YouTube and our blog so that you're able to sign up to be possibly a winner of our giveaways every week with Mondays with Melissa. Now, I hope you had a fantastic day and I hope you have a great week and thank you for joining us on A Creative Journey with Melissa. Have a fantastic day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.